Hey, what's going on everyone? MP Tech here. I did a video before on backing up to iTunes. This video is for backing up to iCloud. Now, like I mentioned before, it's not a troubleshooting video. It's a how-to, so this is assuming everything's working to your advantage. Let's go ahead and get started. So the first step we're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and go into settings. And once you're in settings, you should see something looks very similar to this, of course, but you're gonna scroll down just a little bit until we get to iCloud. So once you select iCloud, if you haven't already, it will prompt you to go ahead and you know type in or create a new email address. Now, for the sake of the video, I am gonna have one where it's being recorded here, but I also have one where it's being on screen as well. So just in the event you guys can't see this very well, I do have a backup plan in terms of on screen. So all of this is essentially your iCloud settings. So we have your email address, which I've of course blurred out, you have your amount of gigs you can actually use to save your stuff. And the biggest misconception is that people believe this stuff here is what you turn on will be saved onto your iCloud backup when reality it isn't. What this is, it's actually what's being synced onto iCloud. So the best example I can give is imagine in your bank account you have $10. Now, you do have $10, but you have $10 in your bank account. You don't have those $10 physically in your hands, but you do have $10. Same concept, or at least somewhat the same concept when it comes to your iCloud syncing. You have the information on your phone, yes, but it's also somewhere else. So in the event something happens to your iPhone, all you have to do is sign back into your accounts and everything comes back in the way it should because it isn't, it isn't necessarily on your phone, the majority of the backup information saved somewhere else. So all of this is what's being synced. So you have a majority of your stuff on here. Um, once you've got it turned on, it saves somewhere else. So, you know, just like I mentioned, in case something happens, you can bring it back on there. Now for your backup, to start the backup, you scroll down a little bit to where you get to backup, you hit it, and it'll give you a time estimate of when the last backup was. If you haven't done one before, Nine times out of 10, it'll say backup is never. So there's essentially two things you wanna make sure is important. One, I would recommend you have iCloud backup turned on because just like it says, it automatically backs up your information so that in the event that you'd never go into these settings ever again, that's fine because what it does is whenever you got your phone plug in to charge at night, and it's connected to Wi-Fi, it will automatically back up. That way, in case something ends up happening that's out of your control, your information is saved somewhere. Now, in terms of what is actually being backed up, let's go ahead and go back out, and you'll scroll up just a little bit, and in this section where you have storage, go ahead and select it. You have total storage and available storage. So your total storage is essentially the amount of storage you have by default. So everyone gets five gigs for free, but if you wanna buy more storage, you can. The additional storage sizes go anywhere from 50 gigs up to one terabyte, and there is a monthly fee for having more storage. Available storage is the amount you have left. So let's say you have 10, you started off with 10. 10 is your base amount. Your available storage, let's say your backup takes about maybe six gigs, you have 10 minus six, your available storage is four. So that is what you're looking for in case you end up getting an error message that says you can't back up to iCloud, just make sure you have enough available storage. So what you do is go ahead and go into manage storage, and here you have essentially all the devices that are saved onto that email address. So I only have this one, so we'll do this iPhone and you'll get an error message, not really an error message, but you'll get a heads up that the last backup was never. Your backup size that was backed up on that day, since I never backed it up, it's gonna be zero, but my next backup size, it's 702 megabytes. So this is all the information that is being saved, so if I decide, you know what, I don't care about YouTube, yep. Yeah, it's not letting me turn it off right now, but ideally, this is where you would go to turn things off. So once you've got it turned off, uh, this number should go down, and this gives you a heads up what is going to take up the most storage. Of course, my photos have got photos at the very top, and that seems to be taking the most storage if I did an iCloud backup. So go ahead and go back out. We'll do one more. So go ahead and go into the backup spot once more, and you'll do backup now. 
and it will give you a time estimate in the bottom how long the backup is going to take. Now, for the first backup, if you have a lot of information, it's going to take several hours, worst case scenario. Now, for the second time you start doing backups, or the third, or from here on out, the backups at that point don't take much time. Now, another thing I want to mention as well is that under your storage, um, in the event you start running out of storage, like now, for example, we've had 700 megabytes being backed up. So now we went from five gigs total. Now we only have 4.3 gigs to work with. So once I go into amount of storage, um, it won't show anything on there yet because my backup isn't complete, of course. But in the event that you're trying to do a backup and things aren't working out because you don't have enough storage, what I would recommend is manage storage. And in case you have two devices, like one is, let's say for example, you're trying to do a backup that is four gigs. You have three devices. You have the one you're trying to back up. Then you have two others. You have one, let's say it's in here, that's taking up about two gigs. You have your iPad taking up two. And what you could do is you could actually delete one of the backups. So you would go into the very bottom and you'll see an option that says to delete the backup. So once you do that, um, it essentially clears it out completely. So now I'll show you guys what it's gonna look like. Essentially what I did is I went ahead and deleted that backup. So once I go back out, before I only had about 4.3 gigs to work with, now I've got my full five. So hopefully this video helped you guys out. It's a very quick how-to. Um, so just kind of a quick recap, scroll down to the very bottom, hit backup. And once you hit backup, just do backup now and you should be good to go. Uh, make sure you subscribe for future videos and I'll catch you guys in the next one.